Hi friends, welcome back to my channel, Testing Mini Bytes. I am your friend Amudan Chaktivej. In last video, we understood how we can run the web test inside the GitHub Actions by setting up Selenoid uh, inside the GitHub Runner itself. In this video, we will try to optimize the build and job time by, by basically caching all the Maven and Docker image layers. Like this is going to be very interesting and it's going to be very simple as well. So without wasting much time, let's let's get into the inter, uh, interaction. So for example, maybe uh, so this is the uh, test that we ran before. And if you notice uh, very closely the time it took, uh, the setting up the pro project took four seconds. Uh, but if you notice very closely, uh, maybe I'll, I'll zoom this a bit so that it's even more easy for you to see. Yeah, so if you notice the starting the Selenoid server, it almost took 32 seconds because we are basically running a command that pulls in the latest Docker image. So latest Chrome Docker image that is 105 on this particular date. So it is it is pulling all the Aeroquip Selenoid image. Aeroquip Selenoid is a very simple image, so it may not take a lot of uh, memory, but uh, but the Chrome image will take a lot of efforts. So, so if you notice, it's pulling the Selenoid Chrome image. So it takes at least uh, 800 to 900 MB of downloads and takes a little bit of time, right? Uh, similarly, uh, our Maven, uh, like when we run the web test, uh, this is a brand new machine, right? And uh, and the Maven dependencies that when we try to run this Maven clean test, it downloads all the dependencies. It is a very simple project that we have, uh, and I have almost uh, five to six dependencies. But in a real time project, we will have 30 to 40 dependencies and downloading all the dependencies will again take a lot of time and you know we can optimize this with a very simple technique so we can do that right so if it is not taking a lot of time like it's 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 okay to do it let's see how we can do it. so first what i want to do i want to uh optimize this particular maven dependency cache so i want to store the maven cache here, right so uh, just search for a maven kit so we can search for that a maven cache github actions that's it so now you see all these things are already built we just need to plug and play right so if you notice very carefully uh, so they are telling how we to use it so once you pull the project once you set up the java version you call this restore methods with uh, like you call this step okay which will basically restore all the maven cache that is stored and when you when you say save maven cache which means after you run the test when you say save maven cache if there is new difference that you added it will again update the existing Maven cache. So that simple is it. So just copy the step and let's go there uh, to the demo web that we have. And uh, before running our test, uh, we just need to say, uh, yeah, and uh, yeah. Let's copy it again. Put it here. Check the alignment. So now restore Maven cache. We are using this particular step and this will restore the Maven cache. And after every run, we want to also store the Maven cache. So, so for that, we already have this. So let's not type anything. Just copy paste and just fix the indentation. That's it. So once everything is done, this is ready. So what it do? It re restores the Maven cache. But the first time, uh, it will not restore anything because it it doesn't have anything in the cache right so um so the first time it will basically download all the dependencies but from the next time it will restore the maven cache so now apart from that we also want to uh, uh docker image cache github actions right so let's go there to the marketplace and uh, if you notice they are telling use this and continue on error so this continue one error they want to give us true because uh, let's say while retrieve, retrieving the Maven cache, there was a problem, which means if this step fails, your test won't run. But this is not a very important step. So you can always say continue one error is true. Okay. And here as well, if you cannot restore the cache, that's fine. It's, it's okay. Maybe it takes another 30 seconds or 50 seconds. That's fine. But this is not a mandatory step. So you can say continue one error as true. That's a very good thing. And here you can also see how they are using it. Uh, very, very simple. So this is a Maven thing. So I'm, I'm not a big fan of using directly users. So I normally have a name that explains it. So now let's go here. So let's say a uh, name and I say, uh, uh, you know, store 
Docker image cache or whatever. And here I use, I say uses and this one. I think it should be on the same line. Okay. Uses this. And apart from that, I need this. That's it. What else? Continue on error. Yes, if there is some problem, don't worry about it. Continue on error too. So guys, so even this, uh, even in the Docker image cache, it's just one thing. Like it automatically stores uh, uh, the cache uh, after executing this thing. Okay, and then it automatically restores. But in case of Maven, like we need to put in two things, like first for restore and second for the save. So you just, they have built in two different ways. So don't get confused, okay? Um, so let's let's commit the code and add a Docker and Maven cache. Uh, commit, hit push, ready, cool. So now everything is done. Uh, let's go here to the action step, uh, run web test in GitHub Actions, run workflow, that's it. So maybe uh, I have played around a bit before taking this video. So, so in my case, the Docker image cache will be already restored. So, so there is a problem here. Let's see what is that. Uh, unable to find the version. I think there is a problem that we did. So let's copy this. And let's go here. This is the one that we are using. I think if we make any mistake. Let's see, check it in the comment. Uh, let's see what is the mistake. I think the, the yeah, dot and this one is problem. So, okay, that's fine. Let's quickly commit this code. We push. And let's try to run it again. That's okay. It's like if it fails, it's fine. Like we can always fix it. Uh, so guys, like if you are watching this video and finding this useful, please share it with your friends and do subscribe to the channel. Like I am putting so much of efforts in, in making all these videos. Uh, you know, please support by, by sharing it with your friends and subscribing to the channel. So if you notice uh, storing Docker image cache, which means, you know, it, it will try to store the cache if it doesn't exist. Otherwise, it will restore it automatically. Since I ran it before, you know, taking this video a couple of times, so it's trying to restore everything that is available. So it's trying to run this step, trying to retrieve the cache. So the cache LAs are being retrieved here. If you notice very closely, uh, these are all getting retrieved. So the cache sizes, blah, blah, blah. And this time the selenoid will not take a lot of time. So if you notice, it will take very small time. Yeah. That is, that's it. So now the starting Selenite server just took five seconds instead of 30 seconds. So that's the cool thing. And restore Maven cache, like there is no cache found for the first time. So it is expecting to save a new cache. Okay. So yeah, let's wait for the build to run. Uh, and then now this stores the Maven cache. Guys, I like, I know many people commented like, you know, I'm, I'm using cache and cache like differently. Yeah, guys, I'm not a, you know, native speaker of English. So if I'm not pronouncing it properly, pardon with me, okay? Um, and uh, so now let's try to run it once again. This time the Maven cache should pitch in. So the Maven step should not, should also not take a lot of time. Yes, the job is getting set up. Uh, project is getting pulled. Java is set up. Then it's restoring all the Docker image layers that is already present in the cache. And it should basically go to the next step. This time it's not basically you know, download all the Maven dependencies. It's restore in this particular step. So this took 32 seconds. Okay. And 
restore maven cache okay so this time it didn't download a lot of things it directly starting the test that's the cool thing about it so yeah you notice it has retrieved restore maven cache if you go to this step and it notice it found the pom.xml and then it received uh, it's it will attempt for restoring the cache from the last 11 commits and the cache size is 38 mb it, it, it utilized the cache and then it ran the test so this time the whole execution is much faster than before and this is how you can optimize your build times right i'll see you guys in another great video until then tata bye bye from thanks guys